Here's a video of how to check your start box, smart box, whatever they're called, on the Humvee. I have a few here and I'm going to go test them. I've got a good car that has a good start box, but I've put one in to test it. So obviously you connect it here, four bolts to remove it, one, two, three, and four. And I have a glow plug right here that's connected to power lead on my multimeter. Then I've got a ground, so it's simple. Ground and the glow plug to a multimeter. So there's various issues. This has got zero volts. And I'll turn it on. No glow plug. No start. Nothing. Completely dead. Zero volts to the glow plugs. So this one doesn't operate at all. Battery power disconnected. Before I disconnect the glow plug, the glow plug, start box, whatever it's called. So connect to here. Okay, that's off. Then I've got one. One, two, three, and four. All right, so I'll finish those off. And then under here, I've got that connector. Let's see if we can do this right here. Okay, this is disconnected. Now it's just a matter of removing these four bolts and it drops the floor. All four bolts, one, two, three, four, all disconnected. And the start box, you just gotta wiggle it out, it'll come out. There you go. This one's not working. Not working, not cranking, not doing anything. Okay, let's grab another one and see what we got. So I'm going to do this one handed taking the door off so I can get access to it so you just put the driver's side in first of that insulation and then I reach across and put the bolts in I've decided to disconnect all the glow plugs both sides just to do this test because this last one wouldn't turn off the glow plugs. Last thing I need to do is burn the glow plugs. So we're gonna do this a little differently. We've got multimeter, where can we put it? Let me put it up here. Multimeter, set on volts. Uh, maybe it's better over here in the dark there. there. That's better. It's got a glow. It's got, I'm gonna do it over here. Got voltage. Glow's gone off. And it's not turning off, glow plugs. 
So this thing, as long as it's in run, it's in run, still got volts, just keeps going. So this guy would just burn out your glow plugs. Wouldn't be long. It will just keep, keep burning them out. Doesn't seem to turn off. And it's not a cold day. Let's see if it even starts. Yep, it'll start. When they turn the power off, then obviously it goes off. So this is a bad one. Okay, number three. It's got white light. It's got the voltage. Weight light came off. Voltage is bouncing. This one's bouncing all over the place. Okay, I've installed one of the older black ones with no sensor diagnostic. port to them. So this is the older ones. We'll see how it operates. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Okay, zero volts. got the weight light it's got voltage these older ones will bounce you can see the voltage is bouncing so it goes off then on off then on it kind of goes through this phase so it's not a cold shut off it, it will bounce it goes back to six volt and it'll do this for a while and then it's supposed to go to a six and then turn off So as your car is warming up, it's throwing a little heat at the glow plugs to get you going. So now it's supposed to be turning off. And this one doesn't turn off. It just keeps going at the six volt. So this would burn out your glow plugs. I've already tested this and we'll just sit here. As long as you sit here, the thing will just keep, keep six volts at it. So this is no good either. But this style will bounce back and forth. So don't worry about it. Just wait it out and let it go through its thing. Start box number four. Let's see what this one does. No glow plug. And 3.9 volts to the glow plugs. Should be 24 for about six to eight seconds. And this one's just sitting here at 3.9 volts. We'll let it ride for a little bit and see if it turns off. So it looks like this is a bad one as well. It's got constant uh, almost 4 volts to the glow plugs at all times. Let's see if it will do the start. Yep, it's got the start. And let's see if it turns off. Power's off, uh, switches off, and there should be zero going through. And it looks like it's leaking 0.8 volts. This is a bad one. There's so many different variations of what goes wrong with these. Start box number five. This one looks like it's got a leak. 0.4 volts. Let's turn it on, see what happens. No weight light. It's got 24 to the glow plugs.
this one I've already checked it does not turn off it just stays 24 constant so this would just burn out your glow plugs and it does have a start I've already checked it has a start but will not turn off 24 volts also a bad one start box number six engine stop is off and it's leaking voltage 0.8 going to the glow plugs so this even when it's turned off it's leaking to the glow plugs it'd be heating slightly heating the glow plugs all the time so this is a big problem no weight light maxing out at 4 volts which is nothing normally it's supposed to be 24 volts so this will heat the glow plugs a little but it won't turn off I've already checked this will not turn off just stays on and on and on even when you turn it off it'll bounce around and then go back to point eight so this is also very problematic control box